Hey there friends, Jim Miller with Pure Gravel coming to you with another episode of the Pre-Ride Show presented by LEL Cycling. We are here at BWR Cedar City and I get a chance to spend a few minutes with none other than Peter Stedna. Peter, thanks for joining us, man. How you doing? I'm good. Uh... I, got a, I flew in for once instead of driving the big dumb van across the desert. So I feel like a world tour rider again. And the big dumb occasionally broken down van. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But it's good to be back. You know, this was the first event to happen as we started to like leave the pandemic stranglehold. So it's a, it's kind of like one year marker of like racing again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even if you, if you condense it down to this year's calendar, it's been an amazingly packed calendar. You've been racing your ass off for yeah. four or five straight months man you got to feel a little a little worn down maybe or i i have a pretty serious case of septemberitis right now i bit off more than i could chew this year um i think it was a symptom of 2020 and just not doing everything or not doing anything and uh having that fomo and so i kind of just said yes to a lot this year um and i still i got another month of races still i'm basically racing uh three out of the next four weekends um, and then I'll get to call it an off season but um, in, in yeah. spite of all that you've had some amazing results <laughs> all across the schedule this year that's got to feel pretty good right it's been a very successful season so far but um, yeah I, I still want to end it well and I can always pull a good day out of my out of my ass and <laughs> but no it's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun and I'm excited for tomorrow to get, some unfinished business here though Cedar City uh, yeah. second in a two-up sprint to, at the end there yeah what? Keegan's not here um, Luckily, he, he's going to make my life a little easier because uh, he's doing the, the stage race out in Colorado, the mountain bike stage race. Yeah. Um, I've seen a few fast folks rolling around here. Uh, I saw Eddie. I saw Ryan Petri. Flew in yesterday with Sandy Florin on the same airplane. Okay. Um, so so there's, some, there's some units. Right on. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your event. It got, uh, mm. we had some just the, the most worst luck you could possibly have it, it, when you think about the catastrophe that was that fire, just for right. the community, but also for you having to, to not get to put on the event. How's the community responded? What's the, what's the word and, and how are you, how do you feel even after that? Uh, you know, the outpouring was very positive. I think, you know, when, when we pulled that and, and actually it, it really hurt the day of what it was because the air actually got clean, the wind changed. The, they <laughs> opened it. up like the, the South Lake uh, evacuation like two days before, but it would have been the, uh, it, it just was too soon. Like we, you know, you can't tell people two days before we're a go or a stop. Yeah. So um, it was the right call. May out there, we moved to May. Um, we rolled everybody over. Um, we're able to honor everybody's registration, which was really nice. Um, and the, the outpouring has been really positive. Um, I think everybody is planning on May. Um, I checked in with uh, my friend organizers of the Lifetime Series and of the Belgian Waffle Ride where we're at, um, and they said that they're not planning anything on May 21st. Um, my events, it's only 60 miles. It's a much more different flavor of event, mm -hmm. and it's two weeks before Unbound, so I'm almost kind of hopeful that some people will see it as like a good little sharpening stone for... Sure for the, the unbound test. And um, I think we sit in a really nice place in the calendar now. And the way you've done, the way you've structured your event is a little unique compared to <laughs> others, which I think is great. And it speaks yeah. to this, this really great world of gravel racing where it's not homogenous at all. Every, every event puts on its different rules in its own different format. And that was really important to you in setting it up. Yeah. Um, you know, I was drawn into this whole gravel world because uh, because of its lack of rules and you can just kind of do whatever makes sense for a great day on the bicycle um, you know and so we have these goofy time bo time bonuses IRC has like a keg uh, either you're lassoing I'm not sure if it was a cutout of me or a keg I prefer the keg <laughs> but you're throwing their tires around it for bonus seconds uh, we have a mechanical bull where as long as you stay on the bull that is your bonus time so if the race comes down to a sprint, you have to play one of those games to see who actually stands on the top of the podium or if you, how you separate yourself from your friend. I like it. Um, which is just, that's, it's cool. It's, I'm calling it a well-rounded athlete. Okay. <laughs> um, and, uh, and the last thing was, it was uh, time segments, very long time segments, but basically you can stop at a big aid station in the middle of the course and chill for five minutes or chill for an hour and there's no penalty. So it kind of promotes this regrouping uh, gathering aspect so um, but yeah it's just unique that it still can be called a gravel race and Great. as uh, 
just different ways to do it. Um, Got to get your take on the latest hot topic. UCI planted their flag the other day. Yeah. Read your comments in Velo News. Um, yeah. Maybe you can share those with us. At least maybe there's not a lot of info yet. We know that. So yeah. maybe a lot to opine on. But what, what's your take on it so far? Is it good? <laughs> is it bad? Is it indifferent? There's going to be a lot more to come. And I have a lot more feelings and opinions on the matter than could even fit in this. Um, I've had my ear to the ground for a while. I think anyone who is really focusing on what was happening knew it was going to come. Yeah. It's not a surprise. Um, I will say I'm extremely pessimistic. Um, I come from the world of UCI racing. That was my career for my whole career before gravel. And I left it for this fresh breath. Um, I know the way that UCI works and I don't have a lot of faith in them. Um, that said, I think they've done their homework. I hope they've done their homework, but um, I am personally not interested in chasing qualifier events around the world for points to get into another race. Like there's so many cool, unique races, like, you know, my event with weird time bonuses and unbound 200 miles and Belgian waffle ride road race that doesn't even want to be called a gravel race and, and everything in the middle. And um, I, I'm going to select events that pike my curiosity that uh, my sponsors care about a little bit, but um, I really got to stay true to myself and, and I didn't enter this world to chase a rainbow title. So, um, I mean, I think it's up to them to prove that they're in it for the right reasons. And I think uh, rightfully so, a lot of people are pretty skeptical at the moment. We'll see how it all plays out. It's, yeah. it's very interesting and uh, obviously will have an impact uh, on the sport. We'll see how big or how, uh, how impactful that is. I guess time will tell. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's been great catching up with you, man. Good luck uh, pulling for you. Any any particular section of the course you're looking forward to? I know last year that Oof. decisive climb is when it, when it really opened up. It's a lot different. I just got back from it. You're catching me immediately post-ride. Um, they've extended the the finish from that climb. That climb yeah. is further out now, yeah. and there's a lot more chunky stuff that was surprising to me. Yeah. Um, it's it's rougher than last year. It's a little bit more hard pack. I know they've had some rain, so instead of sand, we're dealing with chunk and pinch flats and and all that. Um, so I think it's gonna be real important to, like they say, go slow to go fast. Um, and and the climb is still gonna be decisive, but there's a lot to survive after that. I mean, you still have a, up to an hour of racing, I think, after that climb. Yeah. So um, the climb's not everything, and it's gonna it's gonna be decisive. It's, yeah, you know, it's gonna you, be will, you always have a lot to say about any race you're in, and I know that's going to be the case tomorrow. So, man, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Peter Sedna sitting down with us here on the Pre-Ride Show presented by LEL Cycling. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, please, and click the bell to get notifications of all the new episodes that drop while we're here. Thanks for tuning in.